who commutes to work on a regular basis knows how great it would be if you could get just a little bit more sleep. Even an extra 10 or 15 minutes of shut-eye would mean you wouldn't have to do so much of your sleeping while you were in traffic or at work. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of having to get up early to make your coffee at home, or allowing time to stop at the busy drive-thru, I'm going to show you how you can make your own coffee while you're on your way to work. <laughs> Take an old kettle and the amount of spark plug in the side and a thermostat and a spout in the bottom over there and you hang the whole unit from your sun visor. And you pull one of the ignition wires off your engine, you run that up to the spark plug. Oh, sure, sure. Hey, you get used to it. And that will happen with the spark plug. It heats up the water. Once the water gets hot enough, that'll open the thermostat, lets the hot water flow down into this oil funnel, which is lined with number 10 coffee filter. Now you just fill her up with your favorite blend, and by golly, you're on your way. And you'll see I got the other end of the funnel positioned over my coffee mug, which is mounted in the handyman secret weapon temple. <laughs> You have all this preset the night before, so you can sleep in that extra little bit in the morning. Come in, you pull out of the driveway, and as soon as the engine works up, Hey, Red Green here. This is really the first official announcement of my brand new tour coming next year. It's called, I'm not old, I'm ripe. It's all new stories and jokes and advice and the regular kind of useless yet somehow amusing information you've come to expect from me. I've been doing these tours the last few years and, and I've really enjoyed it and, and the audience has too, or at least nobody got badly hurt. So I've decided to keep doing it until I stop. Now for this latest tour, we haven't finalized all the details yet, but I'll tell you what I know, and as usual, that won't take long. For the U.S. part, it's going to be starting around the end of March and end up probably the middle of May. The Canadian part, uh, starting probably the middle of September and finishing off the end of October. Uh, there may be a few exceptions, you know, because of the size of the country. Like, it might be better not to go to Washington State until we're already in British Columbia, but that, that's, that's for somebody else to decide. There are really only two things that you need to know. Number one, all of the information will be on redgreen.com and they'll keep updating it as it comes in. And the other piece is that the tickets for some of these places are going to be on sale before Christmas of this year. But again, just keep checking redgreen.com. Everything will be there. I hope to see you on the road in 2016. Until then, keep your stick on the ice.